Hello! Today I'm sharing a floating floor pop-up card featuring Greta Steiner Designs Go Wild stamp set. It's a perfect set for a safari theme, so I've stamped and cut out these images for coloring. Most of the colors will be shown on the screen, but I'm also listing them down below in the description bar. Also, I'll be playing some music while I color, and if you want to skip the coloring portion of the video, go ahead and fast forward to the 2 minute and 50 second mark. Once I have all the images colored, I want to get all the pieces for the card ready. First, I'm using a piece of orange cardstock measured at 8.5 by 5.5 for the card base. For the floating floor, I'm using a piece of green cardstock that measures at 5 inches by 5.5. I'm scoring the ends at, of the paper at half an inch. For one side, I'm scoring it at half an inch and an inch. The floating floor itself will measure at 3 inches and a quarter deep. I'm using a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock for the background of the scene. Since I wanted to make it a safari theme, I wanted an orange sky so it looked like it was almost sunset. I'm using distressings to blend out a background. And it's very simple, I'm just doing more an ombre orange to yellow effect. So after I'm happy with how the blended background looks, I also decided to do a water splatter using an acrylic block and a water brush. And that seemed great. And once I pulled up the color using a paper towel, it looked really cool, but it felt like something was missing. So I wanted to add also a bit of gold splatter. So I did the same technique of the water splatter using the gold from Fine Tech pearlescent watercolor palette and I think it really adds a bit of interest and a pop to that background. For the Jeep I really wanted to add the giraffe inside of the Jeep so I used an X-Acto knife to trim the edge and use my scissors to cut out the rest of the inside. I know that this step isn't necessary but I think the extra effort adds to the look of the scene, especially when you can see the giraffe's neck and not his head, just his head in the jeep. And after cutting the image, I'll also run a Memento tuxedo black marker on the edges just to finish it off. And once I'm done with that, I'll attach the giraffe and the jeep together so it's one cohesive piece. 
I'll get started putting this card together by taking that Distress Ink background and attach it to the card base. And I'll trim off any of the excess that's hanging over the card. For the floating floor, I'm adding score tape to the outside scored portions. One of the edges will be attached to the back of the card. And the side that has the two scored portions, the second edge, the outermost edge, will attach to the floor of the card. So when you fold down, that second scored portion will just be the pop-up. So next I'm figuring out where each image will go. And I want to make sure that the pieces don't stick out of the card so this card can fit into a standard A2 envelope. I do this by checking where they lay and I'll mark off where they stand. I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut out slots for each of the images. Each image will be held up by a strip of paper. I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut out the slots which are about three and a quarter inches wide, but I'm not just making a slit. I'm cutting it a little wide so the strips of paper holding the images can move freely along the slots. The strips of paper that I'm trimming to hold these images are about three eighths of an inch wide and I'll score them at a quarter of an inch. I'm adding score tape to the scored portion which will attach to the bottom of the card. So I'm attaching that floating floor to the card base and I fold it down so that way it opens up properly. For the strips of paper, I remove the release paper and then I insert them through the slots and I'll attach it to the floor of the card. And so you can see that you just have to do this carefully. And for the images, I'll add the score tape above the floating floor and then attach the images. And this way, we make sure that everything will move freely when you open and close the card. Once I attached all the images, I originally had thought that I would put the bird on the back of the card, but the front seemed a bit plain, so I wanted to add him to the front. Since I already had attached the floating floor to the card base, it was a bit difficult to create another slot. But I used a thick piece of paper under the floor so I can cut out another slot without cutting the card base. And even still, it looked a bit plain, so I cut out two grassy edges, one for the front of the pop-up portion and one for the floating floor. I also added a bit of Distress Ink on the edges to add dimension, and it really helped everything not look so flat. And I realized that adding the grassy edge to the floating floor, I had covered up the slot that I had created for the bird. And for a second, I thought about sending the bird to the back again, but instead, I'll just recreate that slot in the front. I like the additional layer of dimension for the pop-up card, and that the safari guide has something in front of him to look at. Finally, everything is in place, and I'm pretty happy with it. And ideally, I should have added the sentiment a bit earlier, but the card is able to lie flat, so I was able to get a good impression of the sentiment. So when I first saw this type of card, I thought it looked a bit magical because strips weren't needed to hold them up. And of course they are, but it isn't as obvious here. So I spent a lot of time on the inside of the card that normally I just really like to do a very simple outside. I cut out a square piece of paper and I stamped the safari guide on it in a light gray ink and used distress inks to color up the edges. I already have a strip that measures at 12 by one and a half inches and I'll fold it around the card and tape it together and I'll add the additional image of the safari guide to the front so once the recipient receives this card they can slide off the belt and open up the card. I really like how this card came together and it's a fun one and I know Greta Steiner has another set of animals but I don't have it but if you did you could fill up the scene even more. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye!